Hey guys, it's Celeste with Lazy JX Ranch. Um, so today, it's really late at night. I just got my kids to bed. I was supposed to do all my filming yesterday, which was Saturday, um, while everybody was out cutting firewood, but they guilt tripped me into going with them to go <laughs> cut firewood. We had a lot of fun though. Um, a lot of great experiences, a lot of laughs, um, a lot of fun adventures, but I didn't get any of my filming done. I didn't get any of my planning done. And then today it was go to church. We came home and we went to my daughter's house for dinner. She had us over for dinner for the first time on a Sunday since she moved into her new house. And yeah, so I'm just getting home. I got the kids to bed and the fire started in the fireplace. And so now we're getting to the planning. So um, the other day, I picked this seasonal book up at Walmart, and I don't own this seasonal book. I own a few of these seasonal books. I think I have three of this seasonal book, and I really, really like seasonal sticker books. Um, so I was like super excited to find a brand new one um, that I didn't have. I know it's not like brand new, but it's one I didn't have. So I was pretty excited. So I decided I want to do a um, quick flip through. First of all, it kind of reminds me of the color story books, but it is seasonal. Um, but anyways, I wanted to do a quick flip through and then I wanted to use mostly this um, in my dashboard spread. So this is where we'd be pulling from because it's almost Halloween. So I don't think I've even touched this book yet. So I'm pretty excited. There's a little bit of washi. I think there's a lot I can use in this. And then we get to spring. The seasons are all mixed up in this book. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of the new Happy Hostess right there. It's a very cute little book. I'm really excited. I should have picked up some more of it, but... I love that washi. It's so cute. Now we're into summer. Little camp trailer. And some happy birthday stickers. Okay, so we are going to go back over here to fall. And I know right away, where did they go? I want to use, do you think those are too big? Those might be too big. Let me look and if I can find some cute little Halloweeny, Halloweeny, Halloween type, something I can use for a header. That might work. That green right here. Because I've started to like track my two um, middle school aged kids. I don't have a child in high school anymore. Um, but I have kids in middle school. I have two girls in middle school. So, let's see, what one would be a good Halloween one? Probably this one. So I'm just going to put some washi here, but um, I'm using this Bills to Pay as um, 
a section to keep track of my daughter's, my two middle school kids' schedules. You know, their church schedules. Um, you know, if they have something coming up, that type of stuff. We'll track it right here. Kind of the hard thing about exacto knives. Now I wanted to see if I can find more of an orangey color, but it looks like I've already used the orange one. So there's yellow. Let's see. Yeah, I got my finger on it. Let's see what else we have here. Oop, there's an orange one. That'll be perfect. Okay. Those are good Halloween colors. <clears throat> and then the washi tape is just mostly to separate it. And then I'll do... Um, circles with a stencil dogs barking at their own shadows <clears throat> okay, so there's that. So I've got that taken care of. Now, let's take this off. And I have a reminder there. Okay, so let's get into these fall stickers, y'all. Now that I got that prep work done. I'm thinking I want to save these spider webs for next week. I definitely feel like I want to save those for next week. Um... So here we have, it's a reminder, both of these are reminders and I don't want to forget them. This says, eat, drink, and be spooky. So we got to figure out a place to use it. Although Saturday probably wasn't a good day because I do have a lot going on on Saturday. But see, this is a full box right here. Um, like a full normal box. I want to say the, save the thankful and grateful for... Um, fall shopping, relax by the fire. That we could have used Saturday because we did make a campfire. Um, get a fall manicure. Oh, wow. That would be fun. Decorate pumpkins. I know. See, this is what I mean. We were talking about, there was a few trick-or-treating, um, things on Saturday. So I probably shouldn't have used that big of a box on Saturday. I should have went with my gut and put it on Sunday. It's ripping a little, isn't it? 
It's not ripping the paper, but it ripped the sticker just slightly. And I'll be so sad if I can't reuse this sticker. Most of the time you can, though, with these Happy Planner stickers. They're such high quality that they stick really well. And most of the time you can reuse them. Okay, so I think I want to move this up high like that because we were talking about going trick-or-treating because my daughter has to visit or has to visit has to work on Halloween and she has class um that day so she was wanting to hit some of the trick-or-treats on Saturday um Let's see here. I do have my other sticker books if we need them, but I think these little pumpkins are so stinking cute. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do on this one is I think I'm going to cut do it up here so you can see what I'm doing. Um, I need a flat edge. Yeah, if I cut right here. I think it cut all the way through. And maybe, just maybe, I have a straight line. <laughs> you never know. Yeah, it's not straight, but it's cute. And gives it a cute little pop of color right there, and I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. And then what I was thinking is popping... The other one right there not too intrusive and then if we do that again right here There we go. <clears throat> Give yourself a little pop of color right there. Mm. I think if I had slid it over, I would have liked it a little better. Sometimes the way you picture it in your mind when you get it down, it doesn't look quite the way you pictured it. Okay. So now I want to a pop color right there and then we can do the same thing <clears throat> Oh, 
Hey you, behave yourself. That's not what I'd consider behaving yourself sticker. Cute, okay, I like that. Now, I did really, really like these pumpkins. So I kind of want to utilize them because they're so stinking cute. Okay. Yes, I think that will definitely help me get in the mood. Okay. <coughs> so I had a few things going on this week. So I'll probably... That one stuck out just a tad. Get out my trusty scissors. So that's okay. Um, I have actually two things on Wednesday that I need to remember. Of course, if we end up going trick or treating on Saturday, we'll have a little box for that. Now, these checklists, I'm not going to use them because what I learned um, was this nifty little journaling stencil. I need a pen. Where did my pen go? So these little dots on this journaling stencil that came out, um, oh, I want to say this summer, I totally goofed that one up, that top sticker. I thought I had it down so good until I lifted it up. But these little circles match perfectly with this layout. Um, I wish I could remember what YouTuber I learned this from. Um, but she did this on a dashboard layout and I was just like, oh my goodness. <laughs> so I went up a little too high on that one. So forgive that. But I was just so excited to find somebody had figured that out. Because I love checklists. I absolutely love checklists. Um, I thrive on them. And so the fact that I could have a checklist in my daily to-do list type thing was just made me so happy <laughs> and I do have um, like color coordinating markers I guess is what you could call them um, they were like the sharpie fine point markers but um, I don't know I never remembered to keep them handy with me um, it, I would love to hear how you guys carry around, like I have my, um, my liners here, my highlighters, but I would love to hear how everybody, um, keeps like their, um, colored pens and stuff with them. So Saturday I know is going to be kind of crazy, so I'm going to create two sections in my checklist. 
which is kind of the nice thing about the dashboard layout. I can still decorate and if I know I'm gonna have a busy day, I just know to leave myself plenty of room right there. And um, yeah, if you write really small like me, you could even do three different checklists. But this is kind of slow work, so I'm gonna try and speed it up here. Um, but for the most part, just one little checklist each day is enough for me. Okay, so that's that. And actually, I think it like gives the layout a little bit of class. It'd be even classier if I pulled out my black pen, but hey, it worked. Okay, so let's keep looking here. Um, let's see, decorating pumpkins. If we do that, because I live kind of way out in the middle of nowhere. Nobody, we do trunk or treats. Um, we don't do like where you trick or treat at people's houses. Um, so if we do uh, decorate a pumpkin, it would be like to put on the front porch or something. So I don't like these two pumpkins that close together. But I think if we did decorate pumpkins, it would probably be on Thursday. So what I'll do is I'll just move this up to Monday. Cut off that little bit of excess, which it was just a clear e excess anyway. Um, and maybe we do have some really cute little haunted houses over here in our area so and I love this little haunted house so if we did do it it would be Friday anyway so that's just so cute so how I tend to usually decorate my dashboard layout is I'll have the decoration on this side and or down here at the bottom depending on what it is but I'll have the decoration on the side and then leave this free to have it functional. Um, just because I am a checkbox planner. Um, let's see, that's all Christmas. So the rest of the Halloween stuff, I need to, I don't know if we're gonna get over to um, the pumpkin patch. But anyway, I don't know if there's anything else in this book that I can use. No. Okay. So I like to have just kind of a, at a glance reminder of like my work uh, activities that I need to do. And, um, and my like home chores activities that I need to do. And then I like to have kind of a focus box. So I'm gonna look back in here in this colorful boxes. I think this was the second colorful box, if I remember right. Um, let's see, it's got a scream Halloween to me. that. Because Halloween is one of, I, I just love holidays. I'm not very good at like going over the top on holidays. Um, not as much as I wish I could. <laughs> or, you know, that kind of things like I wish I was better at it um, I think it'll probably be okay so I have this orange box it 
see if I put it right here so we keep that focus. That'll work. Um, so my oranges are here. I have this box. Um, here. This is kind of an awkward situation here, but I'm trying to not cover up that pumpkin as much as humanly possible. It might come up here just a tad, and that's okay, and it's a little crooked, that's okay, so I've got to have enough room. that in the lime green there's a yellow I guess I could use a yellow it's not no it wouldn't go it wouldn't go with the colors at all I was hoping to find that lime green in this and maybe I'll still be able to. I want it to match. As much as possible. not as familiar with this book as I am um, the other, other colorful box book. So I have this one. That would be okay. I could live with it. So if I come over here with this box, I have enough room. Don't break it. Oh, it's ripping. Nope, that box is staying right there. <laughs> That's just how it is. It's staying right there. I wonder if I can move this box up. So that box being up there so high doesn't drive me insane. So if I move this one, sorry, you're gonna see the top of my head. If I move this one to there, okay then that one doesn't drive me as crazy as bad. Um, I do wanna leave, have some sort of quote. Um, here. Um, and if you don't know, let's see, I'm going to find it. Um, I've been, instead of this being the bills to pay, I put like just little um, bill pay checklist up here in this section right here. And I only have one today, or this today only have one this week um oh you know what I 
can use one of these. For oh, here that's cute. I think it turned out pretty cute. Um, besides, this box kind of weirded me out a little. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I did that, but it's there and I'm not gonna move it. Um, I'm going to get my other checklist stencil. Um, but anyways, I'm not going to move it. I'm not going to bother with it. But so this will be um, my daughter Shelby's. And I'll have it listed Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And this will be my daughter Taylor. Um, and those are my middle school kids. So they do have a lot going on. Um, and so it's just easier for me to keep track of it right there. Um, and I actually, I got that from, a, one of the forums I belong to. Um, she did that with hers, with her dashboard layout. And I really liked it. This section I do use for meal planning. Um, like I said, I don't have a whole lot of bills due every week. And so I just moved that section to this corner of the to do box or the errand box. Um, this I keep as the calls and emails that I need to make this week because with my business I do have a lot of calls and emails and I have started, oh, it's got a bump in it and it's driving me crazy. I have like started like, um, you know, you really need to call your mom <laughs> and talk to her. But anyways, I really like how this spread turned out. Um, it's really cute I think and still functional for me. Um, very much gives me the Halloween vibes with this girl and the corn maze and the little black cat. Um, I mean, they look like stickers I put down. So um, that's what I loved about this planner is the seasonal aspect of it. Um, so I don't think I'll be changing in 2020 because the seasonal aspect goes all year long. Um, so anyways, you'll have to just deal with seeing it all the time. Um, <laughs> I know there's the home body and it's such a beautiful planner, but, um, I really like this planner and I can't justify getting the home body unless I can get it for, on such a good sell that, you know, it's like the stargazer where I got it for the price of the disc. Um, if I would have bought the disc. So anyways, um, that's all I have for you today. So Thank you so much for joining me. Um, if you liked what you saw, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell so that you don't miss another video. Um, I've got a few more plan with me's that I'm going to try and film tonight before I go to bed because I've got to get my planner ready for this week. Um, now, if you're not aware of how I do my planner, my dashboard, because one of the things I love about the dashboard is I have my weekly stuff here, you know, um, the weekly checklist here and then the daily checklist here. I don't want the dashboard in or the divider in the way. And so I actually, I'll put it here. I have a paper clip. I'll put it on either side. I'm not going to say it only goes on that side, but I'll just clip it just like that. So it turns right to it but there's nothing obstructing my view of this week. So that's how I do my dashboard spread. Um, it just works with the OCD brain, I guess. So anyways, that's all I have for you guys. Thank you guys, bye.